Last August 28, Hollywood and fans woke up to the news that Black Panther star Chadwick Boseman has passed away at the age of 43. According to the Instagram post, Bozeman died in his home with his family by his side following a four-year battle against colon cancer. Days after his passing, the world continues to mourn and pay tribute to the man who has brought so much hope and inspiration to fans of all ages and colors. Let us get to know a little bit more about him on this video, as we share some facts that you probably didn't know about this well-loved celebrity. Welcome to The Bestest, the channel that provides you the bestest news and videos you should know about. On this episode, we are listing down 15 little-known facts that will make you love Chadwick Boseman even more. Many of these are pretty surprising, so make sure to stay until number one, because we saved the best for last. Before we start, please make sure to like and subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell for more amazing videos. We're starting off this list with something that everyone's just learning about Chadwick just now. At number 15, his love for privacy. Even though he's been appearing in TV shows and movies since the early 2000s, we're only just realizing that we don't know that much about Chadwick Boseman and that it is exactly how he wanted it to be. The MCU superstar has always strived to keep his personal life as private as possible, even refusing to answer questions about his love life or his plans to start a family. During an interview, he said, It's no one's business, really. When you talk about that, you become a whole different type of celebrity. Your personal life bleeds into your professional life. I'm an actor, and you know me from who I play. You get a sense of who I am, but you don't know everything. At number 14, a display of true strength. As confirmed on his official Instagram page, Chadwick Boseman was diagnosed with stage 3 colon cancer way back in 2016. Despite this, the actor soldiered on and completed 10 movies, including the four MCU films that made him the Black Panther we've grown to love. While he was quietly taking breaks for several surgeries and chemotherapy, he also completed Gods of Egypt, Message from the King, Marshall, 21 Bridges, The Five Bloods, and the yet-to-be-released Moraini's Black Bottom. Despite his busy schedule and his treatment, Chadwick still finds time to trade letters with terminally ill children who are also battling with cancer. Now. That's a true king. Speaking of which, at number 13, the one true king T'Challa. Every now and then, we are treated with leaked videos of actors' audition tapes. Our favorite MCU stars are no stranger to this too, like Robert Downey Jr. auditioning for Iron Man, Chris Evans auditioning for Captain America, and even people who didn't make the cut, like when a blonde Tom Hiddleston auditioned for Thor. But when the time came for Marvel Studios to cast Black Panther, it didn't take them long to decide that Chadwick Boseman is the man for the role. In fact, Chadwick Boseman didn't even have to audition or read for his part. According to Marvel Studios president Kevin Feige, after his name was mentioned during a creative story meeting, it only took 24 hours for them to call his agent and get on the phone with Chad. And Chad didn't disappoint. Surprised to learn about this? Just wait till you find out what other surprises we have on this video, and number one is a real heartwarming shocker. Back to our list. At number 12, the Wakanda accent. Before Black Panther made his first appearance in Captain America Civil War, a lot of people would come to Chad and question him about his decision to use an African accent while playing the role of Black Panther. Some people would discourage him from doing this and would tell him that the audiences might not sit through a movie with a lead character who spoke that way. But Chadwick Boseman was dead set at speaking with an African accent, something he was proud of having insisted on. It's good to know that Marvel Studios agreed with him as it made the portrayal of the character even more authentic. Still on the topic of Black Panther, at number 11, The Peacemaker. 
You know how we all secretly wish we had a super cool name full of power and meaning? This is exactly what Chadwick Boseman got while doing research for Black Panther. The team stayed in Cape Town, South Africa, where people use the same African Shoza language that the Wakandans use. During their stay, Chad came across a street musician who gave him the show's name, Mikolaisi, which in English means peacemaker, a name fit for a king. Making it to the number 10 mark, the only black Egyptian god. When Gods of Egypt premiered in 2016, the film was met with its fair share of criticism for, well, for a lot of things. But one of the things about the film that Bozeman openly spoke up about was its blatant whitewashing. If you've ever seen the film, it's difficult to ignore how none of the gods looked like Egyptians at all, except for Bozeman, who was the sole black actor to play an Egyptian god. In one interview, he later confirmed that he agreed to be in the film so that there would still be some representation for black people. He further stated that, and we quote, People don't make $140 million movies starring black and brown people. Of course, he didn't know then that he will be starring two years later in a $200 million movie starring mostly black people. And there's a reason Chadwick Boseman is not shy to speak up about representation and equality. And number 9, A Victim of Racism A few years before he was born, Bozeman's school district in was desegregated. Still, this did not shield Bozeman from suffering abuse growing up. During an interview for Mr. Porter, Chadwick recalled how the racism was not hard to find in South Carolina. It's not hard to find in South Carolina. He said, going to high school, I'd see Confederate flags on trucks. I know what it's like to be a kid at an ice cream shop when some little white kid calls you. But your parents tell you to calm down because they know it could blow up. He further recalls how, as a kid, he even experienced having trucks try to run him and his family off the road. And his past experiences of racism did not end in his childhood years. At number 8, Turning Hate Into Art Long before he became an actor, Chadwick Boseman has been writing screenplays. In an interview for Elle magazine, Boseman spoke about how one traumatic hate crime led him to become interested in theater and drama. Back in high school, Chad was an athletic student who was part of the basketball team. Unfortunately, one of his friends on the same team was shot and killed in a random act of hate and violence. Suddenly, playing basketball wasn't as important. He said, and he went on to responding to the trauma with creativity and passion. He wrote his very first plays, Crossroads, which he then directed and was staged at their school. Speaking of plays at number 7, Hamilton Who. Lin-Manuel Miranda's Broadway musical, Hamilton, is famous for telling a classic tale but through rap. And while Bozeman is happy that this award-winning musical has made rap acceptable in theater, he has been doing the same thing long before Hamilton made it cool. What Hamilton is doing now, we are doing 15 years ago. He said, having written and directed his own plays that also added a rap twist to take on Greek classics. Moving back to his film acting career at number 6, his dream role. Apart from his role as King T'Challa and Black Panther, Chad is known for breathing life to some of the most inspiring stories of black men who have made history. Examples of which are his unforgettable portrayals of Jackie Robinson, James Brown, and Thurgood Marshall. But the only man he has always wanted to play with was Jimi Hendrix. Unfortunately, Chadwick passed on before there were any plans of creating a biopic for the famed musician. Only five more to go, and we're certain that number one will make you love him even more. But before that, at number five, almost rejected. When Jackie Robinson's widow, Rachel Robinson, first learned that the role of Jackie Robinson fell to Chadwick Boseman, her first question to him was, 
Who are you? If it were up to her, Rachel wanted to have a Sydney Poitier or Denzel Washington play her husband on the big screen. But when she finally saw the film and how Chad gave justice to the memory of this historical name, Rachel was happy and became close friends with Chadwick ever since. Not surprising too because Chadwick worked really hard when filming 42. Which brings us to number 4, 50 Base Deals. In the biopic 42, you would see scenes of Jackie Robinson making all those impossible base deals. Because he wanted to get it right, not to mention that need to film with multiple frame rates, Bozeman had to film these scenes multiple times. He even had to film one base steal 50 times before they finally got the shot they wanted. Jackie Robinson would have been proud. Speaking of which, at number 3, Jackie Robinson Day. When people learned of Chadwick Boseman's death, it was so unexpected that people didn't immediately realize a rather cruel coincidence. August 28th, the day of Chadwick Boseman's death, is the same day the Major League Baseball celebrated Jackie Robinson Day. During this day, MLB players wear the number 42 to commemorate the legend. Now, we will have two honorable men to tribute on this day. At number 2, Mr. Brown. When you watch his movies, it's easy to see that Chad takes his acting career seriously, and the people on set couldn't agree more. When filming for the 2014 biopic, Get On Up, Chadwick worked day and night to learn how to sing, dance, and breathe life to the king of soul, James Brown. He embodied the legendary musician fully that the people on set would call him Mr. Brown. According to director Tate Taylor, he was working so hard he would make a rare appearance out to dinner, and it would just be odd that Chad was there. And it's no surprise that he takes his acting seriously, considering how grateful he is to be given the opportunity to study it in Oxford. And this is all thanks to his sponsor. Ready to know who it is? At number 1, No Black Panther Without Denzel Washington Back when he was still a student at Howard University, Bozeman and some of his classmates wanted to attend a summer theater program in the prestigious Oxford University. Because of the cost of the program, his teacher, actress Felicia Rashad of The Cosby Show, called up friends in Hollywood to request for anonymous donations. Denzel Washington didn't hesitate and immediately agreed to fully sponsor one student, who, years later, would turn into the first ever black superhero to break several box office records. Imagine receiving the letter that your tuition for that summer was paid for and that your benefactor was none other than the dopest actor on the planet. <laughs> when he got to finally meet Denzel Washington at a premiere of Black Panther, he finally got to thank the actor in person. I know you have also inspired and motivated others. An offering from a sage and a king is more than silver and gold. It is a seed of hope, a bud of faith. There is no Black Panther without Denzel Washington. Which of these Chadwick Boseman facts touched you the most? Let us know in the comment section below. And if you want to get to know him even more, check out our video on all the Chadwick Boseman films that you can binge watch. Don't forget to like and subscribe to The Bestest and make sure to hit the bell to access more of our videos. Thank you so much for watching and until our next Bestest video.